Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up the Vencord system for your Discord client. I have received some people that have had issues with setting it up and they want to just know the basics on how to set up. It's very, very straightforward, uh, but I wanted to create a tutorial on how to do it to help other people uh, that need to set it up themselves as a lot of people do want to use Vencord. Uh, so we're going to have this Vencord website here, vencord.dev. And you could either just search this on Google or just click on this link that I'll have in the description below, by the way. And once you're brought to this website, you'll just click on Download Vencord, simple, simple as that. And then click Download Vencord.exe, depending on which version you're on. Now, if you're on Mac, you'll download the zip folder, and I'll show you how to do that afterwards. But if you're on Windows, you will click and download the exe file. Uh, and if you're on Mac, you will click this and download the zip file. And then, of course, if you are on Mac and you downloaded the zip folder, you will have to basically extract the files. And once you extract the files, uh, then you'll have all the uh, Mac contents or the Mac. You'll have the installer for the Mac inside of those folders. Uh, but of course, we're on uh, Windows right now, so I won't be doing that. Uh, but if you are on Mac, you will have to basically extract the files to get the actual folder uh, to install Vencord. Uh, but if you're on dis on if you're on Windows, uh, you'll just install the .exe file and then basically open the exe file simply. Uh, you will keep it on stable uh, and basically keep everything everything uh, basic and, and default and you'll just click install uh, and it will install it to your discord and that's literally it is very very quick and easy it just says it's been patched it basically it's essentially added it to your discord uh, now if you have discord open or you had it open recently uh, you'll want to end it in the task manager and then once in your, you're in the task manager you'll just find the discord app now I already have it completely closed so I don't need to actually end the program uh, so I'll simply uh, just open up discord again so let me just uh, open up discord again there we go okay and then now once you're back into discord uh, then you could go into your user settings so if you go into your user settings and on the left side we can see that the Vencord tab has now appeared and now that we have the Vencord tab here here we can now enable the Vencord plugins now one thing remember I highly recommend do not download any custom plugins whatsoever only use the plugins that are built in and part of Vencord because these plugins here that are actually part of Vencord that Vencord is downloaded with these ones have been thoroughly tested by I don't know how they test it but it's been thoroughly tested uh, to be basically against like so it's basically like it, you won't get in trouble for using any of these so they're thoroughly tested against uh the discord tos uh, and all of the uh, discord's api and all that uh so these are the ones that you'll want to use that are safe completely safe i can't say 100 percent but i'll say 99 percent safe to use vencord as long as you're using the plugins that are already built in and from here you can enable any of the plugins that you'd like to use with vencord and it'll automatically implement it into your discord software if you just click them on and off and you'll just click restart after you turn them on and it will be working well but anyways thank you guys for watching this short video on how to install the vencord mod uh, for your discord client if you have any questions please leave them down in the description below uh, as well as you know if you need help setting it up on linux uh, then please leave a comment below and i'll help you out with that uh, but it's pretty straightforward simply install the exe file follow the steps that it shows on the screen don't do any weird custom stuff and it'll work out totally fine so i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed this short one i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye